so around the time of hand. writing drum parts for most of these songs, I just kind of grabbed a lot of influence from that and inspiration from that. So. The bands that stick out the most that I was kind of listening to is like Envy on the Coast, kind of throwing it back to that. Just Surrender as well, like a fun pop punk kind of vibe. And then even um, I got really into J. Cole as well and his album from 2014. So while that all kind of played a part in writing the drum parts for the songs I tried to carry whatever I was kind of into in those moments into those songs and so most notably is a song called triplets where I was just really into practicing 16th note triplets and just kind of working with them and messing with them around the kit in my own personal my exploration I, I second guess For me, I've always wanted to just approach it with the instruments and materials that I'm used to. Um, And part of that too is I made my own drum kit. I made my own snare and there's just story and value with that. So I brought my tried and true snare drum that's 7x14 maple that I built when I was 13 um, and is still my, my favorite snare. I brought my maple toms, uh, a rack tom and a floor tom, and then I brought actually my acrylic kick drum. And then, yeah, my cymbals are all minels. They're ones I love and use all the time, especially my 21 inch transition ride, which I try to bash on it all the time and um, it has yet to crack. And then um, Nick did provide one minel 20 inch crash. Um, just so I could have some some extra flavor in there. But yeah, it was pretty straightforward. I, I had a good idea of it, and then just talking with the band and Nick, I was able to narrow it down. I did have a couple things in mind where I wasn't set in stone with something, but I just wanted to get um, mostly a producer's yeah. take on it. I'm It was helpful that Nick's a drummer as well. I thought he brought just a different pair of ears uh, because of that and a different background. And that helped me just have confidence in certain parts. I was like, well, I have these two things and I'm not really sure um, which one kind of works best there. The song I had kind of most of that flexibility with or those additional ideas was Demigod. Just even the beginning, um, there's a very faint snare drum that was something that was kind of off the cuff where I kind of wanted to do something to fill it out, but I wasn't sure what. And so it was really cool just to go in there. And I remember experimenting with different snares and different dampeners and all that type of stuff. And that was really fun just to knock out, you know, in five to 10 minutes. I really appreciated just the space to try things out and then, you know, just execute on it and see what kind of worked best for the song in the moment. <laughs> 